New Pokemon had been confirmed by the Pokemon Company by a Dynamax photo editor website. What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and today we're going to take a dive into this brand new website by the Pokemon Company that basically takes an image from your smartphone and adds a Dynamax Pokemon to it, which, in all fairness, sounds pretty dope. But what's even more dope about this, they included 50 Pokemon that can be placed into your image. A few of those 50 Pokemon that can be placed in your image, we had no clue they were gonna be in the game. So this is brand new news about these Pokemon entering Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Obviously, we got a few that we kinda knew that were gonna be in the game because one, they are a Sword and Shield Pokemon. And that, of course, we're gonna start off with is Aegislash. Looking pretty dope inside game. This is actual in-game image of how Aegislash looks in game and when you take a picture of a Dynamax Pokemon they send you a picture back to your smartphone of the Pokemon they're gonna add into the image so again this is how people are receiving these images of Pokemon inside of Pokemon Sword and Shield and the fact that Aegislash is in a game called Sword and Shield is a given you know he's the Sword and Shield Pokemon I'm surprised he wasn't on the box of this game but He's in the game, not too surprised there. Another one I'm kinda not too surprised in seeing because if you think about it, the way they're kinda leaning towards competitive play inside of Pokemon Sword and Shield, they are gonna bring the heavy hitters when it comes to competitive, the online scene. And one of those happens to be Sableye. I mean, of course, Sableye, of course, with his Mega Evolution is heavy as far as uses inside of the Pokemon competitive scene is concerned. But regular Sableye will have to probably do because the fact that there are no Megas in the game, but again, it's still pretty cool to see Sableye inside a Pokemon Sword and Shield. And he looks amazing. The whole shadows, the glare on his body, everything just looks amazing about this Pokemon. I can't wait to catch it inside of the game. And another Pokemon that has been seen via this Gigantamax app that we haven't known was gonna be in the game, and that's the Alolan Pokemon Rumby. Now, Rumby is an evolution of the, I forget the little guy's name, but basically this was a Pokemon that was introduced in the brand new Pokemon Sun and Moon games, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. So it's pretty cool to see this Pokemon fly over to Galar as well. Now, the website claims there's 50 Pokemon that can be brought in to this app. And I'm gonna show you guys a ton of them here, including Tarantatar and Gyarados, Leafeon and Sudowoodo, Gengar, even Wailord is featured in this group of pictures that basically can be added to your picture if you take a picture and stuff like that they do their wizardry on their end where they edit a pokemon into the image that you have and again it looks pretty cool i'm gonna play around with the app i'm gonna see if i can find an apk for it because i believe it's in japan or it may just be through the website again i'm not too sure but either way i'm gonna leave a link to it in the description below let me know your thoughts of this app this gigantamax photo app App. Do you like this idea? I think it's pretty cool and especially on the website I'm reading that it's there's 50 Pokemon with more to come So maybe there are gonna be able to update the website with new Pokemon that we may not know That was in the game this way instead of just dropping a trailer The game is out and I believe in like a month and a half two months from now and it, like there's a lot of Pokemon yet to be filled as far as the Pokedex is concerned we don't know what are we getting definitively and this is a great way to add to that list I think it's a good idea and I hope they continue on with it also these Pokemon that we know are coming Sableye and Aegislash and Rumby. To me, they're all perfect additions inside of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you like these Pokemon in Pokemon Sword and Shield? I know we, <laughs> it's kind of hard because we know, we know we're not going to have the national decks. We're not going to have every Pokemon that we want. But these are good heavy hitters that I think the community is generally going to be happy about. 
Either way, let me know in the comments. Let's have that conversation. As you guys know, I answer all comments, so I'll meet you guys down there. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video over to recommended. If you want to see more videos just like this one, hit that subscribe button. I do a ton of Pokemon content. I try to bring it out daily as possible. So again, hit that subscribe button. I'm on the road to a thousand subscribers and I am 25 away. So again, you'll be helping me out a ton. If you are not subscribed, you're watching this video, hit that subscribe button so you can catch up on the next one. If you want to be notified when I drop my next video, hit that bell. Usually on Pokemon News, I'm also going to do a ton of Link's Awakening stuff right now because I'm, I'm playing it and I just can't get the game out of my mind. So I'm going to definitely do some videos on that. And that's pretty much it, guys. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next Pokemon Sword and Shield video. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm going to be doing Doing a ton of videos just like this one so if you enjoy please hit that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video peace I'm gonna see you guys on the next one